A violent, controlling man, Michael Dunn abused four victims over four decades. At this house in Mottram in Greater Manchester in the early 90s, he smashed the bricks behind the fridge to make what he called the hidey hole, a cramped, filthy chamber covered with plasterboard. One victim, then a 14-year-old who'd run away from care, had to hide there if anyone came to look for her. Speaking anonymously, she described how police did nine times. One of them touched the board. And I know that for a fact because I'm sat there thinking, go on, go on, go on, move it, move it, move it, move it. But they never did. If they'd have found me back then, I would never have gone through all those years of hell with him. Such was Dunn's grip on her that she couldn't escape and the abuse continued until she told police in 2014. His other victims were a 10 or 11 year old girl in 1978, another woman and a teenage girl in the 1990s. In court today, Michael Dunn was jailed for 27 years. The judge told him, you are a devious, manipulative and controlling man with a strong urge to dominate. You still deny any responsibilities for your actions, saying they have lied to get you wrongly convicted. Police welcomed the sentence, but Dunn's own brother told reporters it wasn't enough. His victims, they'll serve the rest of their lives regret it. I hope he never gets out, and if I could, I'd build a gallows and I'd hang him myself. Thank you. During the trial, it emerged one of the victims did report done to Greater Manchester Police 24 years ago, but no action was taken. An investigation is now underway to find whether this violent paedophile could have been stopped much sooner. Tessa Chapman, Five News.